Atlantic Caravans has been building the Signature Series range of caravans for a few years now, but it's being updated for 2024. And that's why we're out and about with this caravan on the back of the MUX. We're at one of our favourite campsite destinations north of Melbourne, so we just need to get it unhitched and we better chalk those wheels too. We are on a bit of a slope, so I'll go see if I can find a, an old stump or a few bricks to do that. And then we'll step inside so I can show you around this caravan. So one of the updates to be aware of on this van includes a change to the front profile whereby the Signature Series used to have an angular front profile. Here you can see they've flattened it off, they've squared it off, and they've finished it with protective black checker plate. And personally, I quite like the red, smooth composite aluminium cladding right here. I think it looks pretty good. Now, another important point for this caravan, well, I've only got one word to say about it, and that word is hallelujah. Reason being, all external locks have been keyed alike. So there is literally, aside from the door key, one key to open and close everything else on the outside. I mean, this is the 21st century, folks. Why do we have 20 keys for all your external lockers on a caravan? One key to do it all. And I think that is fantastic. Now here we have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. That's an update for the Signature Series because previous versions of this van had two 100 amp hour lead acid batteries. While up on the roof, we have two 220 watt solar panels. Now, earlier versions of this van, again, they only had 170 watt solar panels. So that's another key upgrade for this caravan. Now, to help you manage all of that, this caravan comes as standard with a projector battery management system. Now up here at the front of the caravan, we've got a DO35 coupling and a couple of nine kilo gas cylinders mounted to the A-frame. But one thing that caught my eye is this black checker plate protection for the regulator. I think that's a nice little touch. Now there's no doubt that this is an attractive caravan on the inside. When I stepped inside, I don't mind admitting, I was a little bit impressed. I mean, I like the colours, I like the layout, I like the finish, but that's also what we've come to expect from Atlantic caravans. Now there are a few new things in this caravan to point out. One of those is the full height padded bed head with that diamond stitching. That looks nice and classy. You have some light controllers either side of the bed. And while this caravan is framed up in Moranti timber and it's clad with aluminium, the floor meanwhile is a special honeycomb structure. Now of course this caravan comes standard with a TV, but I noticed that they're using the van tenor. Now what's special about this antenna? Well, it's omnidirectional, which essentially means that no matter where the TV signal is coming from, you'll be able to pick it up and you won't have to muck around changing the direction that uh, your antenna is facing. And it's also able to pick up horizontally and vertically polarized signal, which gives you a much better chance when you're out on the road of easily picking up a signal. And one other thing that's new about this caravan for 2024 is that the microwave has a flat bed, whereas previously it was a turntable style. And I don't mind that bathroom either. That's a lot of linen cover storage in there, while the shower is all fully molded fiberglass with no joins, so no leaks. Naturally, you've got a reverse cycle air conditioner. That's a Dometic unit. But what about the water? Well, underneath you've got two 95 litre water tanks as well as a 95 litre grey water tank. Now you've got a six inch galvanized chassis with a hammer tone finish and it comes with Alco's cross country suspension system. That's an independent coil trailing arm suspension system, but it's built for semi off road or light duty sort of work. But what does all of this weigh? Well, this particular caravan tips the scales at 2,575 kilos, while the ATM is 3,400 kilos. So, you know, that's quite a generous payload capacity. As for the towing, I was able to haul it down the Hume Highway at 90 to 100 k's an hour, and the caravan behaved predictably the whole time. And stepping inside this caravan, it looks good. There's an extensive features list, a few nice little updates for 2024, I think two people would be quite happy touring Australia comfort and style inside this Atlantic Signature Series.